Hello, my name is Liza, and I'm back again today with another witch hat made using one of the Dollar Tree Tinsel witch hats. I've seen hundreds of these on YouTube, but this is my version, and I have a few tips and tricks on how to get your deco mesh not to fray so bad. So you'll need one of these black tinsel hats. You'll also need some deco mesh. I used one roll of black and one roll of orange. You'll need some ribbon, and I also added some tubing. And then I also used one of the um, black glittery um, branch picks, and I sprayed it with hairspray to reduce the fallout. And then I had a couple of these little uh, glittery pumpkin picks left over, so I'm going to use those as well and some of the black tool that has orange glittery spider webs on it. The first thing I did was I removed the boo words from the hat and the tinsel from the brim of the hat. And then I took the tool and with the pipe cleaner, I attached it to the top point of the hat, wrapped it around the tinsel part, and then with a pipe cleaner, I attached it so that only the tinsel was covered. And here's where I made mine different than usual. I cut my deco mesh to 12 inch lengths, but I'm only cutting two pieces at a time, one orange and one black. If you do an assembly line style and your deco mesh is laying on top of each other, it's just gonna catch to each other and it's gonna continue to fray. So by making one bundle at a time and attaching it to your hat, it reduces the amount of fraying. So I just took my mesh, rolled it from either end, and then scrunched it together and put two with a pipe cleaner on the end of my hat. I repeated that and added the bundle to the right side of the hat. And I know it's, it's assembly line is what crafters like to do, but trust me, it really it makes it fray worse. So I continued until I had no more deco mesh left of the two rolls and it was quite full. And then I made two bows with my easy bow maker. And actually it's because I only had a little bit of that burlap striped ribbon left. So that's why there's two bows, but don't worry. I took one bow and I put it towards the center on the left of the hat and I attached it to the brim. And then I did the same thing with the second and put it next to it. And then there were just two small spots on either side that I made the traditional little bundle with. Um, and I put one on the left end and then one on the right end. And as you could see, it was completely full by then. I added my black branch and my two pumpkin picks. And I put them on with a uh, pipe cleaners and then I made a tiny little bundle with some deco mesh and ribbon for the top of my hat and then my hat was complete. I hope you enjoyed my project. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up, leave me a comment and as always if you aren't already subscribing please consider doing so. Quarantino and I will be back again soon with another project. Thanks for watching. Take care.